learning objectives after studying this module students will be able to understand the meaning of dissolution of a firm explain different modes of dissolution of the firm know the difference between dissolution of partnership and dissolution of firm learn the rules for settlements amongst partners learn how to prepare realization account learn about the different journal and ledger entries meaning of dissolution of a firm definition of dissolution of a partnership firm according to section 39 of the partnership act 1932 the dissolution of the partnership between all the partners of a firm is called as the dissolution of a firm this brings an end to the existence of the firm and no business transactions are to be done after dissolution except the activities related to the closing of the firm as all these need to be wound up by selling firm's assets and paying liabilities dissolution of partnership there is a difference between the dissolution of the firm and dissolution of the partnership the dissolution of partnership changes the relationship between the partners which is already there but the firm can continue its operations normally the dissolution of the partnership may happen in the following ways change in existing profit sharing ratio among partners admission of a new partner retirement of a partner death of a partner insolvency of a partner completion of the project expiry of the period of partnership dissolution of firm dissolution of the partnership firm can happen without the involvement of the court or with the involvement of the court when a firm dissolved then the partnership between the partners also get dissolved there are many ways in which the dissolution of the firm happens ways of dissolution of a partnership firm the dissolution of a firm can happen in many ways let us discuss one by one the ways to dissolve a firm dissolution by agreement a firm can be dissolved by the consent of all the partners or as per the contract between the partners compulsory dissolution a firm dissolution is compulsory in the following cases a when all the partners or all but one partner become insolvent and become incompetent to sign the contract b when firm gets involved in the illegal business c when something happens due to which the business of the firm becomes unlawful on the happenings of certain contingencies as per the contract between the partners a firm can be dissolved a if the firm is created for a fixed term by the expiry of the term the firm dissolves b if the firm is created to carry out one or more ventures so when those ventures are completed then the partnership also dissolves c due to the death of the partner d by the formal judgment of a partner as an insolvent dissolution by notice in case the partnership is on will then if any one of the partner gives a notice in writing to another partners for the intention of dissolving the firm then the firm gets dissolved difference between dissolution of partnership and dissolution of firm dissolution by court a court may allow the partnership firm to be dissolved due to the following reasons when a partner become permanently disabled to perform his duties well when a partner becomes insane when a partner misconduct and which can harm the business when a partner breaks the partnership agreement when the business of the firm cannot be carried on except at a loss difference between dissolution of the firm and dissolution of partnership termination of the business in dissolution of the partnership the business of the firm is not terminated whereas in dissolution of the firm the business is closed settlement of assets and liabilities 
In dissolution of partnership, the assets and liabilities are revalued and new balance sheet is prepared, whereas in dissolution of the firm assets are sold and liabilities are paid off. Court's Intervention In dissolution of partnership, the court's involvement is not required as it is dissolved on the mutual consent between the partners, whereas in dissolution of the firm, the court may intervene. Economic Relationship In dissolution of the partnership, the economic relationship between the partners is continued, whereas in dissolution of the firm, the economic relationship of the partners ends. Closure of Books Closure of books is not required in dissolution of the partnership as business is not closed, whereas closure of books is required to be done in case of dissolution of the firm. Other dissolution The dissolution of the partnership may or may not involve the dissolution of the firm, whereas the dissolution of the business means end of partnership. Settlement of Accounts 1. In case of dissolution of the firm, the firm need to close its business. So all the assets of the firm need to be disposed of and all the liabilities of the firm to be paid off, subject to agreement amongst the partners. The following rules as provided in Section 48 of the Partnership Act 1932 shall apply a. Treatment of losses any loss arises in the firm including deficiencies of the capital need to be paid. A. First out of profits. B. Next out of capital of the partners. C. By the partners individually out of their profit sharing ratio. B. Application of assets. The assets of the firm including the sum contributed by the partners to make up deficiencies of capital shall be applied in the following manner and order in paying the debts of the firm to the third parties in paying each partner proportionately what is due to him or her from the firm for advances in paying to each partner proportionately what is due to him on account of capital the residue should be divided among the partners in their profit sharing ratio so the amount realized from assets along with contribution from partners needs to be used first for paying off the liabilities that are outside the firm. For the paying off loans, creditors, the balance should be used to pay off advances made by the partners to the firm and if any surplus is there, that amount should be used for settlements of the capital account balances. Settlement of Accounts 2. Private Debts and Firm Debts The following rules as mentioned in Section 49 will be applicable when the debts of the firm and private debt of a partner coexist. First, the payment of debts of the firm is to be done out of property of the firm. Then, if any surplus is left, then it will be divided among all partners as per their claim that can be used for payment of their private liabilities. The private debts will be settled first out of the private property of any partner and if any surplus is left, that will be utilized for payment of firm's debts in case the firm's liabilities are more than the firm's assets. It is to be noted that the private property of the partner does not include the personal property of his wife and children. So, if the assets of the firm are not sufficient to pay off firm's liabilities, the partners have to contribute out of their net private assets, which is private assets, private liabilities. Accounting Treatment When the firm is dissolved, then all the books related to accounts needs to be closed and profit and loss of after realization of assets and clearing of liabilities needs to be calculated. We have learned earlier also that a realization account is to be prepared to find out net profit or loss after realization of assets and clearing liabilities which is to be shared by the partners in their profit sharing ratio.
Journal entries in case of dissolution of firm 1. Journal entries. We need to do the following journal entries in case of dissolution of the firm. For transfer of assets, all asset accounts excluding cash, bank and the fictitious assets need to be closed by transfer to the debit side of realization account at the book value. Sundry debtors is transferred at gross value and the provision for doubtful debts is transferred to the credit side of realization account with liabilities. The same thing will apply to fixed assets if provision for depreciation account is maintained. For transfer of liabilities, all the accounts related to external liabilities including provisions, if any, are closed by transferring them to the credit of realization account. For sale of assets, the journal entry for the sale of assets would be for an asset taken over by a partner, when any asset is taken over by the partner, entry would be for payment of liabilities, the entry will be for a liability which a partner takes responsibility to discharge, if a partner takes up the responsibility to discharge a liability, then the entry will be for settlement with the creditor through transfer of assets when a creditor accepts an asset in full and final settlement of his account, journal entry needs to be recorded. Journal entries in case of dissolution of firm 2. When a creditor accepts an asset whose value is more than the amount due to him, he or she will pay cash to the firm for the difference for which the entry will be. For payment of realization expenses, when the expenses are incurred and paid by the firm in the realization of assets and payment of liabilities, the entry will be when realization expenses are paid by the partner on behalf of the firm, then the entry will be when a partner is ready to undertake the dissolution work for a decided remuneration, bear the realization expenses. If the payment of realization expenses is made by the firm, then the entry will be if partner himself bears the realization expenses, then no entry is required to be done in books of accounts. For decided remuneration to that partner, the entry will be for realization of any unrecorded assets like goodwill, the entry will be for settlement of any liability which is not recorded in the books of accounts, for transfer of profit or loss on realization. In case of profit, the entry will be in case of loss, the entry will be for transfer of accumulated profits in the form of reserve fund or general reserve. Journal entries in case of dissolution of firm 3. For transfer of fictitious assets, if any, to partners' capital accounts in their profit sharing ratio. For payment of loans due to partners, the entry would be done as follows. For settlement of partners' accounts, when we have to settle partners' accounts, then the entry would be The balance is paid to partners whose capital accounts show a credit balance and the following entry is recorded. Let us understand this with an example. Sita, Rita and Meeta are partners sharing profit and losses in ratio of 2 ish to 2 ish to 1. Their balance sheet as on March 31st, 2007 is as follows. They decide to dissolve the business. The following amounts were realized. Plant and machinery 4,250 rupees. Stock 3,500 rupees and debtors 750 rupees. Sita agreed to bear all realization expenses. For the service, Sita is paid. 60 rupees 
actual expenses on realization amounted to 450 rupees creditors paid 2% less there was an unrecorded asset of 250 rupees which was taken over by rita at 200 rupees prepare the necessary accounts to close the books of the firm summary let us summarize what we have learned in this module the dissolution of the partnership between all the partners of a firm is called as the dissolution of a firm. Dissolution of the partnership firm can happen without the involvement of the court or with the involvement of the court. A firm can be dissolved by the consent of all the partners or as per the contract between the partners. Dissolution happens when all the partners or all but one partner become insolvent and become incompetent to sign the contract. If the firm is created for a fixed term, by the expiry of the term, the firm dissolves. A court may allow the partnership firm to be dissolved due to many reasons. In dissolution of the partnership, the business of the firm is not terminated, whereas in dissolution of the firm, the business is terminated. In dissolution of the partnership, the court's involvement is not required as it is dissolved on the mutual consent between the partners whereas in dissolution of the firm, the court may intervene. In case of dissolution of the firm, the firm need to close its business. So all the assets of the firm need to be disposed of and all the liabilities of the firm needs to be paid off.